What is up guys, Andy Forrest is in runner here and we are in Hereford tonight, myself and Lee again, the dynamic duo. Uh, we are here for the Hereford 5K. So tonight is an unsanctioned race, just a quick story. Normally they normally run a summer series, they haven't been able to run it this year, they've been trying to find a new route. So tonight they're trying out, or they've given three places to 200 runners, so come and try it out and see what happens. So it's my first 5K ever, whatever happens, it's gonna be an official PB. But so uh, yeah, it should be a good night. So we're gonna go and do a quick warm up and then I'll put you in the bag and we'll see you on the other side. We've got our cameraman here again today. He's over there somewhere. And uh, he's gonna be, when I say he, Logan, Lee's son, he's gonna be filming hopefully the start and finish. It's two loops, so they might get a middle loop. We'll see how we get on. Right, warm up done, just done a quick mile. Hang you over to Logan, who will hopefully fin film the start, finish, and maybe a bit in the middle, because it's a two looper. Wish us luck. Hoka Rincons again, the weapon of choice. Absolutely brilliant shoe. We'll see you when we're done. So there we go guys, it's official, 16.58 for the 5k, I can't even say it with a straight face, 16.50 flipping 8 for the 5k, we broke, we broke 17, this is not something I ever anticipated happening this year, this is not something I anticipated happening early next year, it was something that I was maybe going to target the year after, uh, later next year, and that's purely because of my recent 5k time trials, being around the 17.25, 17.30 mark, I just thought, Breaking 17, that's huge. That's that's a monstrous time to break over the 5K. That's shaving off a lot of time. So my mind is kind of in overdrive. I tried to record something last night. It didn't happen. I needed some clarity, some time to think. And a massive shout out to Lee, who ran 16, 40, flipping one, 16, 41 for the 5k that man is on fire make sure you show some love for lee in the comments because i mean it's a pleasure running with him at the moment he's just on another level and it's absolutely brilliant to be running with him because he just is inspiring me to keep going and going and going so i've written some notes they're going to be very short sharp and brief i don't want to keep this a long <coughs> outro and there really isn't a massive uh, race recap to do but there's a few things that i would like to say Starting off with a massive thanks to the Kibbles, Lee Kibble, Linda, his wife and the kids coming along again last night. They were just, they're such great support and I really, really appreciate it. So if you're watching guys, thank you very much. And again, Logan, great cameraman work, mate. You're a star in the making. So thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I'm running out of superlatives for these shoes. Again, used the Rincons last night and just, if they release another version of this shoe next year, I'm dreading it because I don't want them to mess. I just don't want them to mess it up. This shoe is just wow. Like, who needs carbon plate shoes? Who needs carbon plate shoes when you have these things? I think they have like a, a meta rocker or a guide rocker in it or something. But honestly, they are just oh, they're so good. For those of you that run in the Rincons, you know what I mean, and you love them. They are just wow. Um, yeah, just keeping it short and sharp and brief. The ring cons for the win again. Uh, seriously contemplating running these in the marathon. Just mind blowing. Um, and there is another product that I'm testing at the moment, which kind of hasn't contributed to last night, but it's really helping me at the moment. Details will be next week. I'll be doing a full review on it then. So you'll see all about that then. Can't wait to share that with you. But in terms of the race itself, it was a two lap course. We ran on tired legs. We properly ran on tired legs, and I'm not just saying that. You would have known this if I'd have got my act together and got my Beacon Speed Shoe Work Out video out before this one. Uh, but I've decided to bump that to the next day because I want to get this one out first. Sunday we ran the half marathon, Monday six miles easy, Tuesday night 
We did 10 miles at marathon pace. I went out there, coming off the back of Swindon, thinking to myself, there are two things I want to work on this winter, cadence and breathing. So the stitch issue at Swindon really bugged me. I was delighted to get the PB, but I know I've got more in me. I know I've got that sub 80 in me, and there's just these little things hindering me that stop me from getting to the end successfully. I'm really good at finishing races strong. I've done it loads in the past, but recently it's just not been happening. This stitch issue is driving me mad, um, and I know, I know what it's down to. I know it's down to my posture, my form. I've been slacking in the gym over the summer holidays with the kids being off. I've only just started going back to the gym uh, over the last couple of weeks, twice a week. And like now, I'm feeling the benefits for it because I've already been this week. I went on Tuesday morning uh, and I'll be going on Friday and that'll be a regular occurrence again. And it's about keeping myself upright, stop compressing the diaphragm and stop breathing through the chest and start breathing through the belly because when you when your diaphragm starts to not get used when you're doing during high exercise, it really can cramp up and spasm. So if I'm up here chest breathing and this isn't being used, it's just gonna kind of, and as I curl over like that, so there's things that I wanted to work on on Tuesday night. I went out, cadence being another one, six foot six for those of you that are new to the channel, ridiculously tall. My cadence is super slow. So I went out there and thought, right, all I'm gonna think about is having a metronome in my head and run to that metronome. So I'm delighted to say that I picked up my cadence on Tuesday night and that is 10 miles done at marathon heart rate. This is the heart rate I was running in April, training for the Newport Marathon ended up being 6.20 per mile pace. That's less than 10 seconds a mile slower than what I ran the half marathon in on Sunday. And it felt like an absolute breeze. Like I got to 10 miles and thought I could keep going on and on and on. Not that I'm gonna run the marathon at that pace, just for clarification, it was a test to make sure that my legs felt good at the old heart rate that I was training at. So just to try and see if I'd progressed or regressed at all. I'm happy to say we've progressed, which is great. So I had that on the Tuesday night, plus the gym in the morning. So going into Wednesday, my legs were feeling good, but uh, still a little bit tired. Um, and to knock out the sub-17 with that session the day before, it, it blows my mind. Anyway, we're keeping the rest of the week easy until uh, Saturday long run. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, and just in general, a massive thank you to each and every one of you. I mean, I just kept thinking all the way around that course last night about Swindon and about how I faded at the end a little bit and how I did not want that to happen uh, last night. So it was just a simple case of going out there two loops, get the one loop done and then hang on. So we went out at 5.26 pace or something and I was just kind of like, wow, this is a bit too quick. So when I got back round and we ran the second mile in 5.35, I thought, right, that, that's the pace. That's where I need to hang. I need to hold on right there and then see where that drops me uh, at the three mile mark. So we get back round. I'm watching Lee slowly progress away from me. Uh, everyone that he's taking, I'm managing to take as well, bar one person that finished in between us. Couldn't quite get him at the end, but Lee stormed to the finish. And as I came up to the three mile mark and my watch beeped, I looked down and it said 16.33. And I was just avoiding looking at my watch the whole night bar the, bar the uh, bleeping of the miles. I wasn't looking at time and kind of stars came into my eyes. I thought, if I sprint, I can do this. And I laid down the last 0.1 or my watch came up as 0 0.07. Other people's watches came up as 0 0.317. Some people's came up as 3.03. .03. It was just different for everybody. And that last 0 0.1 that we ran, I sprinted 4.33 pace to get in under the 17 minutes. And as I said, I'm just blown away. So once again, guys, a massive thank you to each and every one of you. Make sure you stay tuned for some more awesome content coming. As I said, the beacon speed test, that should be out tomorrow or the next day. Oh, there's just so much going on, it's incredible. What an incredible week, I'm absolutely pumped. So you guys are awesome. Again, thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, do consider subscribing to the channel for weekly running content. And I will see you on the next one. Until then.